here. We just need to get into the secret passage. Same way we have before. Close it up. Head all the way down to the end. Now here we have to be careful because our patrollers are back. <coughs> Sounds like they're still together, which surprises me. The uh, sleepers should be stuck by now. So that made me nervous. I forgot they patrol past the door and then head back in. Well, that makes this the perfect time to roll out. So, cognizant of the fact that there's another patroller here. He's well away from us now, which is what we want. Want to make sure that that doesn't alert the second floor patroller. If we let it auto-close, he'll never alert. Across the foyer again. No, I don't think it's true at all what they said. It probably never was true. No, I just believed him like a taff head. They're probably I believe he's now. right I'm above us back. now. I think he'll hear me if I open the door. Not true at all. Nope. Huh? What? It sounds to me like he might be stuck right above me. <coughs> oh, nope. He's good. Let's just let him open up some distance. It sounds like the other patroller is right about to be here, which is fine and dandy. We'll follow him around the corner until we find a good spot to hide in because we need to let him open up some distance over here to get by the watcher in its blind spot the same way we did initially. I wish someone would let me know what's going on. Never included anything. Last person to know. Now I was adding up loot totals and of the trouble spots you will have to go into at least one if you only get what's there if you only get the easy loot you will end up eight short of the objective you can get 2792 with no trouble at all which means you'll need to get at least one piece of loot out of the ballroom even if you're supreming i believe that the easiest loot to get in the ballroom is probably the piece in the rafters <clears throat> But it could be one of the floor pieces. I don't know. So you can't skip the ballroom altogether if you're Supreme Ghosting. Although I'd certainly recommend not straining yourself to get everything in there. Because it's going to be a pain. So now I'm going to wait until he's well off the other direction. Then I'm going to get past the Watcher in its blind spot. Same as I did before. Because remember, we can't go this way because Hobart is watching the door between the workshop and the security station. Where she wasn't encasing the joint. Similarly, we can't just traffic in the ballroom like we were able to in casing, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Get by the watcher in its blind spot, no trouble there. No patrollers around, which is what I like to see. So head to the... Now we'll head to this... Oh, patroller. Okay, so now we're going to head to the southern storeroom. But 
need to be wary of that patroller. Let's wait for him to come out. And then slip in behind him. Ideally before he turns around. Two things in the southern storeroom. Reading material. A hammer book! The Book of the Nail, chapter 7, verse 12. As the hammer drives nail into wood, taming rough-hewn wood, making of nail a useful thing, so shall the builder use the faithful, molding them into forms desirable, using them to tame wild wood, causing them to join together the foundations of our world in joyous regimented harmony. Thus spake the prophet Jeremin. And in the chest, there is a gold plate, which brings my total to 1335. Now this, first in the storeroom, there are two candlesticks, which bring our to my total to 1435. Now the ballroom. Who's over? Ah, right dang it! This has happened to me before. It didn't happen on my practice run, but it looks like it's happening this time. There's an asshole parked right there. Jordan, that you. Doesn't make it impossible, but it makes it a hell of a lot more complicated. So, close the door behind me, and get over here as far as I can. That pretty much means I'm gonna have to take a first alert, which is irritating, but... If it's to escape the consequences of a glitch, I'm usually more willing to do it. So... Who's there? He's supposed Probably to be just the sir checking up on things. He's supposed to be patrolling, not just chilling out here like he is. He's gonna complicate matters considerably. Someday I'm not gonna be a guard anymore. I'm gonna be a manor lord, and I'm gonna hire lots of guards. So, let me tell you about the ballroom. There are four pieces of loot in the middle. There are two stationary archers in this corner and this corner who will want to pickpocket. There's also... This guy is supposed to be patrolling up and down here and out in this room, but he's just stopped here, which sucks. There's another patroller who walks a little route on in a circle in this side of the ballroom. And we also have to get up to the rafters because there's a, another piece of loot up there. So I'm going to get... This guy's arrows first. Time for them to be recognized. Oops. You can get his arrows without another first alert if you just swing out here. Can you believe the damn coffee brew is broken? Those fancy gadgets around here. I can't get a simple mug of coffee. Slip back here. Grab his arrows. That's my fourth of eleven pickpockets. With that done, a little speed is necessary. Then slip in here. Grab the tapestry. Brings my total of 1585. Oops. Okay. What did I see there? You need a careful balance of speed and care to get that mask. You can't get that mask without a first alert from that archer either. Between the tapestry and the mask, my loot total is now 1635. Now slipping in here for the other mask and the urn is very easy. They mm, saw something there. Well, oh, he's, well. he's stuck, so work. I don't particularly care. But that loot brings my total up to 1760. And now I'm going to have to adjust my plans to get the other pick because of where he's standing. I'm going to have to come over here. Who's there? Oh. But I can, I can time the balcony guard to avoid an alert from him, at least. Jorin! That you? I 
I suspect I probably could have finagled that to not get the first <clears throat> alert, but... Who's there? But, when dealing with glitches, I'm willing to take first alerts. Mm, as much as they piss me off. Never any birds around anymore. Anyway, the tapestry is very easy to get. We could have gotten it with no first alerts if we, you know, hadn't had the glitch happen. So with that in mind, <clears throat> I'm going to alter my recommendation and say that if you're trying the Supreme Ghost, you should get the tapestry out of the ballroom. And maybe even those two pieces of loot. <coughs> so that pickpocket is my fifth out of eleven. Who saw something? Is it the balcony guard? Really? That guy's a pain in my ass, I tell you what. Must have been. Hello? Okay. New plan. What's there? Thought I saw something. Okay, okay, okay. What do we do here? <coughs> Duck in here. Till he has his back to us. And cut in here. And we're back to our shadow. One last thing to do in the ballroom. <coughs> before it's clear. I'm gonna have to carefully consider how to do Jordan, it. Joran! That you? That dude right there. <sighs> Guess it was nothing. Let's fire my third vine arrow. Oh. I, mean, I should probably do this from down here. That's probably smarter. <clears throat> I'm gonna fire my third vine arrow. Try and get into position to mantle up onto the rafters. <sighs> Perfect. Now be careful. You are definitely not invisible up here. Despite how it usually works when you're on rafters. So retrieve your vine arrows. Find a shadow to park in like I just did. Now we need to cross them. You'll probably take several. See, even over here, all the way to the right, up a level, the guard on the ground floor can spot you. To the tune of a first alert, which isn't much, but I don't want it. I'm gonna wait till his back's turned. Then head over here. Up in this corner, there's a box with a diamond inside it, which brings my total to 1860. Now I've got to decide how to get out of the ballroom. That guy being stuck there complicates things. I'll probably have to take a first alert from him. Hopefully, that's all I'll have to take. As I Who's over <coughs> there? try to execute my original game plan. Hmm. Oh! I want to land on the railing <coughs> without damage. Oh, good. I can, I can get down with only a first alert, so I don't need to rush it. What's that? Oops. What's that? <clears throat> oh, well. Back to work. Okay, good. So now we're done. So now, I'm just going to clear the second, the southern wing of the second floor.
All the hardest stuff is over now. I'm sure you'll be happy to know. Okay, he's headed this way, so I'm just gonna wait till he cycles. He's headed away. We're just going to want to head into the bar, but we want to time it carefully because there's a servant inside. When you see the servant leave, When you see the servant enter that little side room, that's your cue to hurry behind the bar and dive into a shadow. So hopefully we can pull it off a little better this time. Beautiful. So the servant never comes back here, so as long as you stay in the shadows, you're safe. Still, I like to do most of my moving around while the servant is elsewhere. There are two pieces of loot in the bar. The first is this silver coin stack, which brings my total to 1872. The second is this purse, brings my total to 1897. Now from here I want to hop back over the bar and head right through the curtain into the conservatory. I'm going to wait till I hear the door. Inside the conservatory, we've got a scroll to read. Note to self, retune harp soon. Soon. Duma is breathing down my neck and some noble lady wants to play at the reception. Careful of the tile. Grab this purse. Brings my total to 1922. And then get to the secret passage this way. That's my preference. Now, clear of the ballroom. I'm gonna do a double real save to ensure I never have to do that crud again. So, let's open up the passage to the security office. In this closet, the chest has a gold nugget, brings my total to 2022. The northern closet, I think that's north. East. The Eastern Closet has another, brings our total to 2122. There are two things to read in here. I, Philemon Abernathy, having considered the terms of employment and the generous financial compensation, do accept the appointment as head librarian for Lord Gervasius. And on the table, record of payment for services rendered. Item, ancient masks acquired by agent from places unknown. Paid in full upon delivery 2000, received by Lord Bram Gervasius. Finally, in the western closet, there's a healing potion if you want it. In the security room, on one couch there's a ring, brings my total to 2182. On the other couch there's a pair of coins, brings my total to 2202. And to loot this office, the corner watcher has to be deactivated, so you can skip this office if you're supreme ghosting. Gonna pick this door open first. Keep an eye out for the patroller. 
It's best to move when he's headed to the west. So I'm going to wait for him to cycle back and pass me heading the other way. He heads that way, creep across the hall. That watcher was turned off encasing the joint. But trust me, you do not have time to pick this door open if it's on. There's just no way. Much like the office across the way from here. Pick this open. In here, you can find a purse on the tape. That little table brings my total to 2232. And there's a book to read. House Sergeant's Logbook, Sergeant Kelvin Porter recording. We prepare for the coming exhibition with a certain amount of trepidation. We are close to completion, but we are not ready yet. Most of the watchful eyes and metal beasts are in place. Foreman Hobart is still putting the finishing touches on a variety of mechanical creations throughout the mansion. I'm just glad that someone reassembled the cuckoo clock before Duma burst. Steward Duma, as usual, is being too demanding. I expect Hobart to shortly pull out what little hair she has left. Guards have been doubled on most patrols, and all of this together should give us the security we need to ensure that the exhibition comes off as smoothly as possible. Yeah, right. Hope springs eternal, doesn't it, guards? Yep. Let's see. I'm going to close the office and get back here. One other thing that we need to do... Although, this isn't the best place to do it from... I'll go ahead and turn the watcher back on. I'm going to pick open this door now. Cross the hall. Pick open this door. Because this is the best place to pickpocket the patrolling archer above the ballroom. The other one, the other end is almost as good, but it does <coughs> have a guard facing it who will first alert no matter what. I think from here we can lean forward and get his arrows without getting spotted. I hope so. He may first alert anyway, but we shall see. He's on his way now. <coughs> I'm a thief! Oh, yep. Well, he sees me if the, uh... He sees me if I have the arrows out. He'll probably see me anyway, but maybe not. <laughs> hey! Oh, yep. He's gonna see me. But... Maybe not if I move <coughs> left a little. I'm nothing if not willing to experiment. Of course, we can just hide out of sight, run after him and get the pick that way and only take hey, the first alert. There's an and that's what we're gonna do. Thought. Yeah, cause there's something. <coughs> no good way to hide. So, skip this pickpocket if you're a supreme <coughs> ghoster. <coughs> because he will first alert when you try to get it. No matter what, the other side is identical to this in every way. It's just a mirror image. Someone say something. Oh well. <laughs> well, he doesn't first alert. Either you have to run after him and first alert the guard underneath you, or 
you first alert the guard across the way who just sees you when you head in there. I'm going to wait for him to pass by, Uniforms are better and then recross the hall. Nice gold trim. The second floor is almost clear now. There's one other thing to do, and you have to skip it if you're noises. You have to skip it if you're a Supreme Ghoster as well, because it involves... A f so far for me, it has involved a Moss Arrow and a First Alert. I'm going to try to skip the Moss Arrow this time and just get the First Alert. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, now we're done in here, so we can close all these doors behind us. Back into the secret passage. We'll head through the library. I won't bother reading the books in the library again. They're all the same as they were when we got the correspondence the first time. Terrible secrets. Terrible secrets. She still appears, but you'll notice all the lights are on now. I guess that's because we did it last time. We've put the ghosts to rest by discovering what happened to them. Bless their souls. Anyway. Six out of eleven pickpockets. One piece of loot left before the bottom two floors are cleared. None of our objectives triggered yet because they're all on the third floor. And... We arrive at this guy. Now, the interesting thing is we can get out through his window, which is what we're going to end up doing. But... What's that? I've never managed to get in through it. Hey! That always happens to me. Opening his door will be a first alert. Oh, crud. See, that's the sort of thing that happened to me last time, but thankfully, I did a backup real save. Opening his door will trigger a first alert. All right, who's making the rocket? And it's one of those first alerts that takes a long, long time to settle down. <clears throat> yeah, I don't see a way around the moss arrow, do you? I'm asking you like you're here, like you're someone who can respond to me. You're just YouTube viewers. <clears throat> I feel like this should be possible. Now, the key to only first alerting him is speed. Look, I know. Yeah, I'm gonna use a second moss arrow. Huh? Because <clears throat> I would be inclined to try object stacking, but there's nothing to stack. So. With the moss in place, just sprint. You want to hug the left wall, but not get hung on the banner. Ready? Go. Stop right there! All right. Try again. There we go. <clears throat> Open this chest. Get the purse. It's another hundred. Brings my loot total to twenty-three thirty-two. And we can slip out through his window. If you just crouch run forward, you'll land on the carpet. <clears throat> Speed past him once again. Go too slow and he'll alert. Shut his door. And he's all done. And we are finished down here. Beautiful. Now set that to 12 o'clock to open the secret stairway up to the third floor, which we will now begin to explore in earnest we just ignored it last time because there was literally nothing up here. Not so this time around. Not so. Make sure to get those coins off the guard table. They bring my total to 2392. Now that we're starting to tackle the third floor, I'm going to do a, another pair of real saves. And hit this switch on the wall for our first of three secrets. 
a handy passage to the foyer. Now we haven't mapped this place out yet. I'm gonna go north first. For the north side, I'm gonna go through the terrarium, through the second secret, then come back to close it behind me. Then I'm gonna tackle the studies on my way over to the southern wing. The southern wing will eventually lead me to my exit. This is where I got busted last time. The servant spotted me. I didn't notice that it spotted me. And I got in big trouble. I'm pretty sure you can do this without first alerting the servant. I'm gonna try just a little bit harder this time. Yeah, I think if I go faster, I can get to the doorway what shadow. I think if I go just a little faster, I'll be able to get to the doorway shadow without first alerting the servant. <laughs> oh, nope, she hears the door open. I know I can do it without first alerting Benny, though. Okay. Hmm. Alright, well. New plan. Rafters. Always useful. Goodness. I'm gonna fail at all my plans, aren't I? Okay. Anyway, there are four things to do here. Clear the north wing, clear the south wing, clear the studies, and get the secret from the guard room. I'm going to go for the guard room secret first. Okay, that'll work. I just have to open the door when the servant is on the over on the other side. But I need to give myself some room around Benny too. And right now he's headed into the terrarium. It should be obvious that that won't work for me. So once he's out, I'll drop down here. Get to the doorway shadow. There. 
close that door. Need to wait a little longer to avoid a first alert. Wasn't fast enough. Watch more carefully. Maybe a jump is in order. See if someone is there. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, folks, I'm just thinking. See what that was. Help me. Please help me. Look for that. I feel like this just about has to be possible. Maybe it's just not the way I'm doing it. Did you see something? Pay more attention. You have found nothing. Did you see something? Come on, come on, come on. Did you see something? Oh, that one was close. Okay. What did you see? If I go slower at the start, then I can start sooner. Then get up and sprint. Done. Beautiful. I feel like this one ought to be much more straightforward. Perfect. that happens close the door behind you now here I don't think there's any need for speed although I could be wrong but we've got to get past this watcher which if you take advantage of its blind spot it's pretty easy to do Just hold right here we got plenty of time to get to the other side and open up this door. Creep into this room. Close the door behind you. This is the security center for the entire third floor. There's really no need to turn off any of the watchers. I am going to get the second of three secrets by opening this passage. Now, this passage is a lot less handy than it looks. Truth be told, it's easier just to sneak into the wings from the rafters. So, I'm gonna close it behind me. Well, behind me, I'm gonna close it without even using it. Do a real save here. And then, just get back through the terrarium as my means, uh, and wait till it's turned away. I'm going to get back to the terrarium 
get back through it. Everything timed just so. And get back to the rafters and then tackle the rest of it that way. So, let's get back in this doorway shadow. We don't have a lot of time here. This move is harder for me than... Oh, it didn't turn around this time. Well, that 